constantly getting a request for what I call messy pony. So this tutorial is all about creating that messy pony in a way that you can do it at home. Um, it's on all the red carpets. Ponytails are the hottest thing. And for me, the be messier the be better. Um, a lot of celebrities are doing it. Um, for one thing, it's a great way to kind of like have a juxtaposition on an evening gown. So they're even wearing it for evening. I kind of like it because it kind of looks like a ballerina who's done her thing and her hair's a little messed up and it just has a lot of great texture. Um, the easiest way for you to do it at home by yourself is to divide the head into two pieces and we're going to start with one pony and then work the second pony over it because what's so hard um, for many of you to do is to keep the volume and the texture and the messiness while you're putting it in a pony. So if I was to try to tease this and mess it up and then I was to try to pull it in a ponytail, as I put that rubber band on, it's going to... Um, mess up all this work I did. So I'm going to do it in two parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to part off basically just crown ear from ear to ear leaving out the crown. Now I know you're supposed to eat with a chopstick but I use it for hair um, and actually a lot of hairstylists do and so you're basically just parting off from ear to ear leaving the crown so we can keep keep volume there. So that's basically what you have is you have just a horseshoe shaped, this hair out, this hair up here. The reason I like a chopstick is I will literally just twist and it's out of my way. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, and the great thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfect. I do sometimes like to brush rather than just finger the underneath. So I'm going to pull it up to the height I want. Now you can pull it as high or low as you want, but with a messy pony it looks best if it's mid-head lower. You have what's called an occipital bone, which like is a curvature of your head. If you put it right above that, that's usually kind of like the best place for it. I'm going to take my little teasing brush and just kind of smooth the underneath. And quite honestly, this is the only one I'll probably use a brush on, the only part of it, because I want it to be messy, and that's the beauty of it. If it gets more messed up as the day goes on, the better you look. Then I'm going to take a regular pony. Now I usually try to use the thinner ones for this part because I'm going to put another rubber band over it. I'm going to use a bungee, hair bungee over it. Um, so I prefer thinner if possible. And then you're just going to take that and you're going to put it in a ponytail. Pretty easy. If you can't do this part, then you're screwed. Okay, getting it tight. Taking a little spray. Now, the lower the lacquer content in your hairspray, the better for this look because you want it to be workable. You can always go back over it. Oh, professional tip. Spray smooth. Using your can as your smoother. We do it all the time in photo shoots. Okay, so we put this in a pony. Um, now that this, what the purpose of this is now everything we do has a secure point. So we are secured and everything you're going to do is, is in a great secured position. So everything we do now will go work into that. Okay, so Sherry, we're going to turn. This is my model, Sherry. Say hello, Sherry. Hi. Okay. No, you're supposed to say hello, Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Okay. <laughs> all right. So the trick to this is your teasing. Now, typically, this is how you want to tease. I know this is how you want to tease. You want to tease. So, 1982. Okay, that's not how we're going to tease this. Because we only want teasing, and I'm talking to you, Julianne, we only want teasing at the root. Because what we're going to do after we tease is we're literally just going to work with our fingers. So we're going to go through, just to show you a section. I'm going to grab a section and I'm just going to pack the teasing in at the base. Now, it's easiest if you tease with something that you can tease tightly with. We're going to have these on our website, so in case you need a great teasing brush, you can just go to the website and get this exact brush. So you want to pack it in tight, and then you just pick up the next one, pack it in tight, because you don't want to be going through and brushing it out. You're going to finger it out. Now if you feel better about it, as you do one, you can just do a little bit of spray. That's why the low lacquer content really works well. And you're just going to get all of your teasing in there. Packing it in as tightly as possible at the base.
And I like to do the back area and then work forward so that the last thing I've teased is the front. Makes it a little easier. Now you've noticed, I've only teased about here down. I haven't teased in this area because I want this to be kind of a little smoother. The only place I'm going to tease down this far is in the front for messiness. I don't want volume here because I want that to be tight, so you don't really have to tease this section right above the ear. Now I'm going to go through and start to tease the front. Do most of your teasing from behind when you're working towards the front so that when you brush it back, you're working with the teasing being underneath and you're only working with the hair that's less teased. And I know I make funny faces when I tease. Try not to. Now, we are going to tease this part right around the face. Tease from behind. And y'all, this is the trick to it all, is taking your time on your teasing. Okay. Now, everything else for the most part, we'll be done with our fingers now. All right, so I guess we should turn you this way, Sherry. Good thing your makeup looks so pretty today. All right, so first thing, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this pony as, as kind of like my brace. And so I'm just going to stick my hand right there because everything I'm about to do is gathered into this hand, and it gives me something to grab onto. And I'm going to start working it with my fingers. Okay, turn back. There we go. And so now you're just going to start raking through it with your fingers, slowly working it down to where you want it. And I'm kind of like fingering out some of that teasing. And just taking and working it out. Sherry's got great hair, so this is easy to do with her, unlike other people. That always make me do theirs. And she's got five strands. We won't mention any names. No, we won't mention any names. Kind of look at what's going on. Once again, just fingering it through. And there is no wrong to this in the sense of it can be as messy as you want, which is the beauty of it. I kind of actually think that the messier, the better. Now, this is one of the things that I get the most questions on. What I'm doing is I'm going through, putting my fingers in, and I'm actually rubbing them back and forth to kind of like separate it. So I'm kind of like separating it at the base. Just so you know the action of what my fingers are doing. Okay, so I've got a basic shape that I'm, I'm good with. The right amount of volume, which is why you do it in two separate pieces. Then we take a hair bungee, which we have them on our website if you need them. Easier to find. They're the exact ones that I use, so you can get them from there. So now I'm going to take a hair bungee. And with a hair bungee, you take the hook, you hook it in the hair. I'm grabbing hair. You go around. I'm holding it down with my hand. Go around again, hold it down with your hand. And then you hook that hook in the other end of the other hook of the bungee. It just hooks right in, and that way, because you did it that way, you didn't pull hair through, we didn't mess up, turn back around for me, we didn't mess up the volume we created. Now, here's where we start working with it. Now, a couple of the trick moves is, once again, using a low lacquer hairspray, you kind of spray it, and you just work with it. Once again, I'm using that same, like, motion to separate it, but yet keep it clumpy. And the great thing is, because we've got the two different rubber bands, We've used the second one. I can literally pull on the hair to get more volume in a place if I want. I'll just grab the top, turn for me. I'll just like grab the top layer and pull it up because this is just hooked in there. We have that base uh, ponytail first and I can literally change the volume, get more volume in some places than another. And sometimes I like to just kind of like ruffle back where I'll just take my fingers and come back towards the front and get all those little pieces. These are the pieces that would fly out of a ballerina after she's, you know, had a big workout. 
just using my fingers. And, you know, the more practice, the, the, the better. Once again, I'm just ruffling it back forward. And you can make it as messy or not as messy as you want. And there you have the perfect messy pony. As I think, the messier the better. It kind of has that just danced look. Um, and it could be dressy, it could be casual. Um, everybody, whenever I do this on my friends, everybody stops and comments on how much they love it. Here's the back, just so you can see. Just a simple pony in the back. And I don't think you need to cover the band. You could wrap and cover the band if you want, if you're going out for the evening so that it's smooth. But I think because this is messy, I like to see the rubber band. Just make sure you use one right for your hair color. Turn back around. There you have it. Do you have any questions? So you put the anchor ponytail in first. Put the anchor ponytail in first. And okay. you want to make sure when you're parting off that you, you, part down, you part down far enough that you leave crown area that, to tease and get volume. Get the volume. So it, it's about right. It's about right. Just show the people right there around in a U shape behind the ears. And when you tease, you tease. Well, tease always from behind because we want the front to be smooth so you don't have to take a brush and smooth it out. You can just use your fingers to ruffle it. So tease from behind and just think straight out because you're trying to get volume. So just think behind, straight out, behind, straight out, behind, straight out. So don't really do so much. You can do it from underneath if you want, but the more you do it from behind, the less like fixing you have to do, the less making it not see the teasing because that's the point you don't really want to see the teasing you want to see that it looks messy and PC and tell me again how you get the volume up front tease behind once again kind of forward behind and even right after I tease before I even start the ponytail I will start to smooth and even maybe use the brush just on that one piece across the face because as long as I got the volume behind that's gonna lay fuller on top and then two, just remember that when you're trying to mess it up Get it as messy and full as you can when you put it in the pony, but because you've got the two separate ponies, that top layer, which is what we're working with, is pullable. You can pull out for more volume and mess up. And just use your fingers kind of like in a, kind of like if you were, you know, shaking out and yeah, just kind of like ruffling through so that you're separating it as you go back. And then of course still, I always use my fingers and rub them back and forth in a way to like separate them into pieces. And then you can go backwards with your fingers just lightly on the top layer and everybody has little flyaway hairs that will come out. But because you've got all that volume, they don't look like they're mistakes. They look like they're part of that messiness. Okay, so how do you avoid getting that bump when you put it in the bungee so that you don't have that big Oh, bump? okay, so turn for me. What's, what's probably happening is you're, you're teasing too low. We've left this hair out for workability, but you don't tease past there. Can you feel where I am? Uh -huh. Like the exact right like chin, down. if you went chin at an angle up, like followed your, your um, cheekbone jawline in between there, kind of across your ear, that's where the bulk of your teasing should stop. You just want that hair underneath it to work into it because if I tease down here, that's what makes the bubble. So stop teasing there and that way it all works into it. Okay, great. And would you want your hair completely dry when you start this so that it will tease better? Yes, you want your hair completely dry. But I will say if you're in a hurry and you want to do this, as long as the hair that's in the second ponytail is totally dry, you can make it work. If the hair in the anchor ponytail is a little damp, no one will ever know because that we're not teasing, we're not doing anything new, we're just pulling it into a pony. Smooth. Yeah, and it's smooth. So if it's just a little damp, that's fine. I wouldn't do it wet because then the dry hair you lay on top of wet hair becomes wet if you lay dry hair on top of wet. But if that's a little damp, that's fine. So if you're in a hurry, just make sure all the hair that you're working with for the messiness is completely dry. Okay, does your hair need to be clean or is it better or a little bit dirty? Um, either way, um, I think what's great about this look is you can, especially like you've got great hair, but you highlight it. Well, you've got great hair. But you highlight it and you do chemicals to it. And so there's times where you don't wanna wash it or maybe there's a third day that you're just running around and you don't have to look your most fabulous in the sense of put together, but you wanna look cute. You can do it on second or third day hair, and actually sometimes it's a little easier for finer hair. Yours is going to do it either way, clean or dirty. But for finer women's hair, it'll even do it a little bit better if it has a couple day dirt. And you don't have to wash it as much. But now, if there's, if there's grease, wash your hair. Um, and then, you know, one thing that, that I always get asked to is upkeep. Okay, say it gets messed up during the day and some pieces fall out. Yeah. Just take your fingers and rough rake it back and then separate it out and just spray them back in place.